All right. First of all, very impressed with it. They give you a, a very durable case enclosure so you could travel with it in case you put in your luggage. It won't get damaged. Instructions on how to put it together. And let's open it up and see how it looks like. All right. Very secure when you open it up. Uh, I like that it has a rubber band in there. Let's open the actual docking station itself. This is probably one of the smallest docking stations I've seen. And it has a bunch of built, uh, features built in here. So it has a PC in. It has the PD 1000 watts. This is for your power supply here. All right. It has 3.0 USB, HDMI, and then a RJ45 connection. And then we spin it around the back. It has a type C and two more 3.0. And then you have a micro SD card in the bottom and an SD card here. Now the enclosure is set up inside. So we're going to open it up right now. But they also include the cables, all right? They give you a type C to type C because you're going to be transferring rate high, especially on an MV MVNE, or you're going to use this as a docking station. Make sure yeah, that your computer or your, or your handheld device is compatible with this. So we're going to open it up and see how it looks like inside. Inside, if you guys notice, they give you the actual uh, a radiator and all the fixtures needed for the actual uh, enclosure here. So you put your MVNE in here and make sure the radiator, radiator is installed and then the cover goes on the top. If you guys notice, the cover comes out easy because it's magnetic. So that means if you have multiple NVNEs, you can always replace it with different ones. If you have different sources or you maybe you have your tutorials or or your platforms, this is easy. They include the actual um, screws that you require to actually keep the MVNE down. Uh, different millimeters, if you guys can see 40 all the way to 80 in the top. So very simple. We're gonna put this together and see how it works. We're gonna set up our MVNE here. Um, for this docking station, you do not see screws. It comes with some plastic in the enclosure. So basically just put it in. This is a four terabytes that we're putting in here and place it down. Once you place it down, all you got to do is screw it down here. And, and when you do that, you got to twist it, right? So there's only one way to twist it in there. So let's put these suckers in here first. All right, for testing purposes, we're going to set it up on our uh, on our Surface book here. So we're going to plug it in. And if you notice, Surface only has a, a two um, type C connections. So we're going to plug it in. And you also going to have to format the drive if it's a new format and new drive. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to set it up and see how well it works. So, all right, just to be aware, make sure you plug it in in the proper area where it says PC in. If you plug it in in the other type C and will not work. So just be aware that you need to do that. Once we set that up, it's going to identify it here. If you guys can see it right now, it's identifying, but there's nothing there. So dismiss. we're going to go ahead and set this one up. And we're going to say properties, and then we're going to format the actual drive. All right, we just format the actual drive to four terabytes. You can see it here clearly. So we're going to do a couple of tests on it. All right, so we got the test result, and we set up another monitor in the meantime. So the monitor is working very well. Now, different sequences that we see all the different speeds on it, but the maximum speeds that we got was a, with the 1,000 range, which is not bad, you know. But for being a generation four, it should have been a little quicker, but because it's it's not the fastest M.2 there is in the market, we should have got something like a 980 or a 990. Uh, Samsung's a little quicker, but it does a job for retaining files and videos and so forth. And, and the system works very well with it. I integrate it with the actual video card and included with the actual connection and, and included with the actual HDMI that we connected. So very simple, all the things work out of the box. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.